Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi there, I'm Joletta, and I'm so glad you have joined me for today's scripture reading. We're continuing our journey through the Beatitudes, specifically looking at Matthew 5, 8, which says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Do any of you like to receive rewards for your actions? I do. I often joke around with my 12-year-old son, and I have suggested many times over the years that I deserve a trophy for being such a good mom. So one day, my son, out of boxes and scraps of paper, created and presented me with this, the Mom of the Decade Award. In a much better way, our scripture text offers a reward, the reward of seeing God. Another word for seeing is knowing. We have the incredible opportunity to know God deeply in our hearts, to be calmed by his presence, to delight in how he provides for our needs, to be strengthened by his words, and then to one day see him face to face in all of his glory, fully and completely in heaven. But how do we receive this reward? We receive this reward by being pure in our hearts, a pure heart is free from any pollution. It is clean, it is sincere and honest. It has no deceit or falseness within it. It does not act maliciously or presumptuously. Anyone with a truly pure heart will receive the reward of knowing God. But as sinners, it is impossible for us to have a pure heart without the generous grace of God. Because we are sinners living in a world contaminated with sin, our hearts are naturally drawn toward that which is impure. The penalty for sin is death, but God sent his son Jesus to pay that penalty for us. It is only through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ that we can be saved from our sins. Once we accept Jesus as our savior, the Holy Spirit begins to change our lives and guide us toward purity. He does this so that he can be more fully in relationship with us because he really loves us that much. So today, in all that we do, may God graciously save us from our sins and guide us toward pure thoughts and actions so that we may be blessed with the reward of knowing God and enjoying a wonderfully satisfying relationship with him. Amen.